Hi everyone, I am currently live on YouTube. Some of the <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm currently live on YouTube. Uh, I'm showing you all my Shoppers Drug Mart haul. Come join me. Hi, I can't see who's in here. It's, it's different from Instagram. This is weird. <laughs> Let me see how to work this. What is that? Just a lot of weird settings in here. Let me just wait a second before I show what I got. It's so, so exciting because it's new products that I didn't know we had in Canada until a few of you guys actually told me we had it at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is our um, pharmacy here. It's going to be hard looking in the camera because I'm used to like, I don't know. I don't really live stream on my um, computer. I wonder if I can watch myself live streaming on here. Oh, I think I can. <laughs> can I write to myself? Will I like my own live stream? Yes, I will. <laughs> Sister. I think it's just you, me, because I'm on here too, and then, oh, I just think I think it's just you and me. <laughs> I'm gonna show my stuff. I just posted on um, Instagram that I'm live, but you know, I should have posted it earlier. I mean, it's a YouTube video, so it will upload later. So I guess I can just show the stuff that's in here instead of just doing weird silence and then see if anyone joins. <laughs> okay, I'll just show it to you then. <laughs> so I got, this is weird. It's like I'm just talking to you. So um, my bill came up to... 7682 because Pixie here in Canada is so expensive. Spoiler alert, I got Pixie stuff. <laughs> so the first couple products that I picked out were the Pixie Hydrating Milk. Is it backwards for you guys? I think so. It's the Milk Mess. And I originally wanted like the eye patches. The eye patches, I think, were like $35. So this one was, what is this? Hydrating, no, that's the shadow one. Eh, how much was this, Em? <laughs> I think this was Soothing Mist. There's nothing on my receipt that says that. I think this was 20 or was it 23? There's something for 20 and then 23. No, this one's 20. Yeah, 20, 20. <laughs> Um, and it has, like, O in it, so it's supposed to be really nice for my skin. So we'll see about that. And then the next thing is I got a Pixie Light or Lip Brightener. No, it's not backwards for you. It's backwards for me. I guess it's kind of, like, on my actual camera. And this one was $14. It's a pricey, spicy one. But it looks really cool. So 
So it looks like this, kind of like, I don't even know, like an egg yolk inside. <laughs> Here we go. Oops, I touched it to my nose. It doesn't really smell like much, just like a makeup smell. But it's nice. Looks like gum. Yeah. See, now that I have my glasses on, I can actually read the comments for this one. Unlike my um, Instagram live, because Alba wasn't reading the comments to me. Because <laughs> if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm pretty blind without my glasses on. So, Alba. And the next thing is my eyeshadow stick. And I actually did swatch this one already. And I kind of have it sort of on my eyes. You can't see. And this webcam is just garbage. But this was $9.99. It was on sale. It was, like, originally $20. Bucks. Um, I picked it up at the store. Yeah. It's a store here in Canada. It's called Shrubber's Drug Mart. Because I know, like, a lot of you who subscribe to me are from the States, so you don't have that there. It's like, no, you don't have that store either. What is that one drugstore you have? CVS? Is that it? Yeah, so it's like that. And because I didn't know we had Pixie here in Canada until um, Betty. She was the lady that I... Ladies, we're calling her a lady, <laughs> but she is. <laughs> um, she was my last feature in my last video. And so she told me it was at Shopper's Drug Mart. So I wanted to try it out. Oh, it hit the thing when I was putting it back. But it is like super pretty. And let me put it on here. Can you see? The lady is garbage. But it's like a nice shiny eyeshadow stick and it's kind of like yeah it's rose gold what's the shade here you can sort of see it it's pink quest oh that's nice and then also so that's all i had at first and then when we went when we went up to pay the lady at the front, she was like, hi. <laughs> um, she was like, oh, we have like these gift sets that are 50% off from Christmas. Let me just show you it. Because, you know, I love a good gift set. So I just had to get it. And it comes with three different toners. And this one was $23.99. So it was 50% off this. Did I tell you how much the lip was? No, not the lip. The eyeshadow, yeah. The eyeshadow was 99 50% off too, so it was regular 20 you know. And let's crack this girl open. So my sister, she's here in the chat. She told me that I didn't really need toners because I have so many other, like, skin, um, you know, skincare products. And I also have the Ordinary um package on the way which i'm so excited for because i'm trying their um what's it called moisturizer and then i have a giant cleanser because i love their cleanser if you um follow me on my instagram you would see you know i talk about it a lot because it's my favorite i love that you don't need to use water at first you put it in your hand and then you just massage it in until it melts then you put it on and then you wash it off. So you're only using water once because water is just messy. I don't know why I don't like it, but it is. <laughs> okay, back to this. So this is the vitamin C to um, tonic. Did I say it was a toner water? Are these toners? No, they're tonics. But yeah. <laughs> so let me see if this smells like anything. Ooh, that's nice. It's kind of like kind of lemony but also kind of like a cleaning product but I kind of like it <laughs> um and then the next one in the box so what is this for does anyone know what this is for it is a vitamin c tonic just like to brighten your skin yes it is so cute 
I, well, this one's kind of plain for the lip, for brightening, yeah. I have sprayed this already on my face. I was trying to do like a boomerang, but it didn't come out right. Um, it kind of like, on here, I like, I look super, super white, but in the mirror here, my face, oh, someone's calling the house. But like, um, my face is like super, hi, <laughs> I'm good, how are you? So it is like super red on camera, or not on camera, in real life. But like, I guess because I have two box lights here, you can't really tell. It's just kind of good. Hi. <laughs> okay, so this one is for brightening. That's what Emily said. And then next is the glow tonic. And can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. It has a glare. Like when I was trying to pick, take pictures of the packaging too, it wouldn't really, um, you know, the shine from the label didn't really show up that like nice. Okay, let's smell this. Ugh, this one smells yucky. Hi everyone. Should I do my intro? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this one smells gross. Oh my gosh, I know what this smells like. I'm not gonna say it because it's kind of gross. I mean, not like gross, but it's like gross. How do I, I don't know. <laughs> it smells like, oh, it smells like tea tree oil. I was gonna say something else because like, you know, when you're a kid, you get it a lot. Well, not a lot, but. <laughs> okay. And then next, wait, did anyone say what this is for? See, I don't even know what these are for, but I bought it because the girl that was trying to sell it to me, you know it, it's the lice, the louses. Um, I just like, it's a sale, 50% off, I gotta get it. <laughs> and I didn't even know if it was for sensitive dry skin either, but I just got it. So it is, can you see? On my screen, there's a, a glare. says gently exfoliate spo I can't even say it <laughs> exfoliates and brightens revealing healthy glowing skin oh it does say for all skin types which is good alcohol free and then next I don't even know what that is retinal tonic is that like for your eyes <laughs> you know it's not but like I think Emily actually told me this. I think there is something on your camera lens. <laughs> Here, let me wipe it off. Is that better? When you're doing zoom ins. Here, let's see if it's better. Ew, there's something from the... <laughs> there was something on it. Well, I use this for school. So I'm just like zooming for school and I don't really care. I can't see now. Oh, I can see now. You can see now. <laughs> so did you know what this was for M? You said that's good. 5% acid. Oh, so this is just to exfoliate, I guess. It literally does it on all the backs. It says the exact same thing. Yeah, I think so, too. The lights are really close because I was taking pictures. Here, I'll give you a sneak peek of a picture that I took of something. So when I was taking the pictures of the lip balm, here is one. I, like, made my own setup for taking Instagram pictures. So I went to the dollar store because I did see on Amazon they had, like, these papers with um what is it where's my thing i have some so it was like papers like this obviously i made this because you can see but i bought this from the dollar store and it was like so the there's bristol board underneath that was like two for a dollar and then i bought this um decal stuff for like two dollars so then I did a double-sided one, 
So just like when I'm taking pictures, I can have it folded like this up and have, I have a white Bristol board underneath of it on my desk and I can just prop something up and take pictures like that because I was just doing it on my desk before. Mm -mm. Not good. Oh, and I also have this little one. It's like a backslash for your kitchen, but I thought it would look pretty cool. Let me see. I have a picture of it on here to show you. Oh, I have this other one too. Here's another one of another backslash that's actually under my laptop now. And then this one, I just posted a picture on Instagram with this background. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of my um, first day beauty stuff. I think it just looks really cool and adds a little sizzle to your pictures. <laughs> but yeah, so back to the tonics. I'm going to keep calling it tonic, but I know it's not. Um, so this one has jasmine flower and it's a soothing toner. It does say toner. Are these toners or tonics? It's the same thing, isn't it? But yeah, let's smell this one. This one smells like the first, well, if you've ever um, used the First Aid Beauty cleanser, this smells exactly like that. <laughs> I think that's it. That's everything that I got. They did give me a sample. It's this tiny, tiny little sample. Um, here it is. I think it's just like a, yeah, it's a repair moisturizer for soothing, to soothe your skin. The first one is nice. Um, by, I can't even say the name. I was trying, I was saying it at the store with her and she was like, like la, rock. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> but here is my tiny sample. And I'm going to give it a whirl because she said, like, Emily recommends this because she watches a bunch of skincare gurus. And they say this brand is really nice. As long, like, and with the Pixie, too. They recommend these ones. Um, I have some other stuff on here. Here's the Fourth Ray Strawberry Face Milk. Can see I use a little bit of it but um I don't really care for it that much it's like you know <laughs> it's whatever it does smell really really nice but I find it's it's pretty sticky La, La Roche <laughs> yeah La Roche on you yeah I need to like um how do I pin yours? Can I pin it? Let's pin it to the top. Ooh, your message is pinned. <laughs> cool. So let me show you this one. The fourth. This has nothing to even do with the video, but whatever. It does smell so nice, but it really irritated my skin when I used the um the Kylie Skin. What was it? It's like a Kylie Skin cleanser first, and then I use this after. Like, it really made me break out. Yeah, Pixie is great. Well, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to use it. because, And they have good makeup. So here it is. It does smell nice. I don't know if all the... Um, face milks are the same or if there's like different because there's like a bunch of different um scents I was gonna say flavors but I mean you know they I don't think you can eat them that's kind of gross but um I don't know if they do different stuff I just got this one because I thought oh strawberry sounds good but yeah so that's it it's it's semi-thick but like once you rub it in you know, it will just um, absorb into your your skin. <laughs> and I 
think that's it. Um, thank you all so much for coming to my first live. Um, it was a little awkward coming on at first because it was just Emily and me <laughs> in here because I um, didn't post it on my Instagram fast enough. If you have Instagram and you don't follow me already, um, go check it out at the Life of Lydia C. Let me see if I can put it in the chat for you. Um, so it's just something weird, but that's it. Um, I don't know if I go out of here and try to put my link in, if it would kick me off of it. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Let's see. Here it is. Are you still here? I think you are. Okay. Here is my link. If you want to go follow me on Instagram. I would appreciate it because I post um, a lot of skincare pictures and reviews on the stuff that I've used. So once I do try all the stuff, I will be doing a review on it. Hi, Betty. <laughs> um, look, I can actually see your message now. You see it? Okay. Good, good, good. I mean, I think most of you already follow me on Inst or, yeah, Instagram. I was going to say YouTube, but this is YouTube um but yeah I don't really know what to post next Wednesday because if you see in my Instagram story you would have seen I'm not really gonna support Jeffree Star in the future um like I am still gonna use all his products oh yeah my keto one I don't have it can I go Is my keto one? I'm trying to find it. I know I posted it in my story. Oh, here it is. It says yes. Here is my keto one. <laughs> So many Jemsies in this chat for Simo. <laughs> so I just dropped my keto account into the, the chat thingy. If you want to go check that out. Um, I am on like two and a half weeks and I've already lost 10 pounds. Um, I've been posting like some. I know I'm famous in Morocco. <laughs> um. I've already lost 10 pounds on the diet and it's going pretty well. At first, my first week, I was kind of getting headaches, um, but that is normal for starting keto. Yeah, so my first week was really hard. Um, but they did say like for like one to two weeks, it will be hard. Like you'll get the keto flu. But um it actually wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be really bad. Like I was going to feel sick, like the flu or something, but no. Um, and finding recipes are actually pretty easy. So instead of using flour, they have almond flour, which is kind of like a weird flavor at first because I made the, I made a recipe on my Instagram. It was for the peanut butter bars and I didn't really care for it that much. The peanut butter cookies were better. But I think I used a little bit too much sweetener in it because it was, like, so sweet. I'm not really used to, like, the sweet flavor now because I haven't been eating it. Um, but it's nice. I think I would recommend you guys to try it if you want to. Um, and, like, to lose 10 pounds in two weeks is, like, really, really good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I I just needed, like, not just a diet, but, like, a life change, you know? Um, 
I just like 2021 just needs to be a better year for everyone. And hopefully it will be. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of that, the keto dinner. So there's a subscription box here in the GTA of like Ontario, Canada. That's what we call it, GTA, like the Toronto greater area. Um, and it's a vegetable fruit box. And it is, so th there's like different categories. So there's a $10 box and you get to choose from like, M, how many items do you get to choose in your box? Because I got the $20 box, which was just vegetables. And it, I got to choose eight items, but I got so much. I got three heads of broccoli, one cauliflower, which cauliflower is really expensive here. It's like $5 per head. Um, mushrooms, three zucchinis. Yeah. So in a $10 box, you choose seven items. But you get a lot of food, and you get it every week unless you skip it. So they started out in London, Ontario, and they just opened it up to the... I'm trying to, like, say it without telling where I live. <laughs> Let's just say the GT area. Um, but not everywhere. So, like, I don't think they are actually doing it in Toronto. And it doesn't go as far to Niagara Falls either. So, Benny, <laughs> you can have it delivered here instead if you want to do it. But, like, it's really awesome. Um, it's just, like, ugly fruit that they can't have at the grocery store but it wasn't even ugly fruit like i thought it looked like perfectly fine my cauliflower was purple but i thought that was cool speaking of pizza i do you know blaze pizza they have one here in the town that i live you know where i live but um i they probably have one over down there too and i know they have them in the states too but um they have you don't have Blaze there? Oh. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Because there's, like, pieology in, like, the states, like, in California. I don't know if it's everywhere there. No, it's not. It, this is, like, real pizza. Well, I don't know how real it is. But it's, like, thin crust. And it's so good. But anyways, um, Pizza Hut, yeah. Pieco? Yeah, there's another one. Like Pie It's like Pieco. Do you know what Pieco is? It's like, how do I describe it? It's kind of like Subway. You know how you pick all the toppings like right there in front of you? So that's what it is. So you like pay a price, like a flat rate price, and you pick your toppings. But they have keto crust at, um, why am I going to say biology? At, um, <gasps> what is it called? <laughs> I can't remember the name. The place I was talking about, you know the name. Um, so they have keto crust and pretty much everything. I got like literally everything on there except for pineapple. Pineapple is pretty high and like sugar. So like you can blaze. Yeah, it's called blaze. You can have like some fruit, but you know, try to say not say far away, but you can have a little of it. So every morning now I have a smoothie with strawberries and bananas, almond milk, and then my um, sweetener stuff, like sugar replacement. <sighs> Hungry. I have half my pizza still in the fridge. But, um, yeah, dinner time. I need to make mine, too. Um, you have, like, thin crust? Yeah. So, Em, you know where she lives. We need to go try it there. Or, like, a cheat meal. But, um, so with keto, you can still eat pretty much everything. You just find, like, substitutes for it. So, like, if you want cake, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying cake, but if you want cake, you can use almond flour instead. And obviously it doesn't taste as good. <laughs> but, um, I've seen this recipe for coconut shrimp, and they're using coconut flour which is cheaper than almond flour and i think i'm gonna give it a whirl like this is the most exp like expensive diet ever like i picked it at a bad time but still um 
so I'm going to try that one out, the coconut flower, and I'll let you all know how it is. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely recommend it. If you're thinking of doing keto, it, you, well, if you're a really carby person, um, like I love pasta. I love it so much, but I found a, um, fake noodles. Well, they're like, they're not fake. They're, um, plant-based and it's called miracle, miracle noodles. And you find it like whole foods, um, or what's the, what's the one here? It's called like goodness me. It's a Canadian grocery store, I think, but whole foods is like the States too. Yeah, you should. I mean, even if you're not going to do keto, I still recommend Blaze Pizza. And if you just cross over the border whenever it's safe, go to, like, Pyology. Like, is that in New York area? I don't know. I know I went there when I was in California. But it was, like, the best pizza ever. Well, other than the Anastasia at Disney World. But that was because that was made by, like, real Italians. But um, it's, like, the best American-ish pizza. Yeah, pasta. I made, um, what did I, I use sausage instead of meat, and I use, oh, J yeah, Jamba Juice, yeah. That's like Boost Juice, though, but I think it is, I don't know, I want that again, and Chick-fil-A. See, doing all, like, doing the keto stuff, I'm still gonna have that stuff. Like, when I go to Chick-fil-A, I'll just get, like, the grilled ones, not as good, but I'm still having the Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A sauce, as long as, like, I don't, I can't, <laughs> So if I want to lose weight, it, there's, like, the app that I was using. I'm not really using it anymore. I'm not really counting it. It's, like, eh, not into that. But um, my, like, carb count is 25 grams a day, which is really nothing because there's sugar in literally everything. Like, it's disgusting. So if you go on the keto diet you're gonna notice a lot of stuff like ew there's sugar in literally everything it's so gross i was watching this video of um they were comparing the taco bell stuff from the u.s to the uk and in the baja blast there's a hundred grams of sugar in in a large well the sizes in the states are a lot bigger but in a large, there's 100 grams. Do you even know how much that is? That's disgusting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to. Emily is ready for this, too. <laughs> yeah, that is so much sugar. It's literally so gross. But, um, so on keto diet, you can still have what you want. I'm not really, like, Emily got these breadsticks today from, um, Blaze. And I took a little bite out of it, but it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be because I haven't really been eating that stuff. I thought it was going to be, like, magical because I had a grape, like, last week, and it was so good. This grape. I don't know why. It was just so good. Yeah, water. And that's what I drink, too. Water is just great. I don't understand how people can't drink. Like, they don't drink water. Like, water, like, what else? I don't know. I don't like pop, or I guess some people in the States call it soda, soda pop. Um, yeah, it, it was a magical grape. But yeah, water is just, like, good. Um, <laughs> there's no taste. Well, I don't know. It's just, like, you know when you're thirsty? Like, right now, I'm so thirsty because I've been talking. I don't, I don't talk this much. I don't talk to anyone. I'm a loner. But, um... Like, just drinking water after. I like room temperature water because it's too cold when it's in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Also, because all of our gyms are closed here, um, when you are working out, you get more, like, calories and, like, carbs and stuff you can have because, you you know, you're working it off. But um, I'm not working out right now, even though I still think I'm getting charged for my gym membership. <laughs> Which should be happening. But yeah, water is just a great drink. It's just like so tasteful and like smooth. Yeah, I don't like the, it's like spicy. <laughs> it's 
spicy. Like, not, you know what I mean? Like, pop is just, like, spicy. Like, I don't like the fizz, the carbonatedness. It kind of, like, like, it hurts. <laughs> it's just not good. And, like, with, with pop, you can't chug it down because it doesn't feel nice. But with water, you can. I do like apple juice, though. Apple juice is quite, quite nice sometimes. Yeah, so I drink a bunch of water in between my meals, and then right before I, dr or I, I eat, I drink water, so it makes me feel fuller. Um, but I am eating, like, I ate, like, a head of broccoli for one dinner. So, like, that's okay. And you can add butter. Oh, my gosh. Now I get to use butter. So we used to eat margarine or basil or whatever. Is it just called margarine? I guess. I think basil is the brand. But butter. Hi. Whatever. Water is great. Like, water is just a great drink. It makes your skin better. Um, it just makes you feel better. And it's just my choice of drink. Like, if someone, if I was at someone's house and they offered me a drink, I would say, oh, water. Like, even if they have, like, something else. <laughs> yeah, we're just talking about water. <laughs> but, yeah, I really like this um, lip brightener. Although I had to apply it twice in, like, how many... 30 minutes, twice in 30 minutes, which doesn't seem the best, but still pretty good. Yeah. That's true, that's true. Like, when you go to Costco, we get, like, a bunch of bottles. Even though I'm trying to drink more out of my reusable bottle, um, but our water is kind of, like, iffy sometimes. It's, like, a little foggy. I don't know why. <laughs> You gotta like have it running for a while. It's just like these pipes here, these Canadian pipes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried the Mexican soda. Um, when I was in California, my boyfriend gave me one and oh my gosh. It was it's like it it just hit different. I forget what flavor he got. I don't know, but it was good. And I also tried because he's Mexican, so he, like, hooked me up with all the Mexican food. Um, I tried, like, the Mexican candy. Salty! <laughs> That's all I got to say is salty. That's what I want. I want a water cooler. Yeah. Or, like, a Brita to filter um, our water. Yeah, Mexican soda. We have it at we have a mm, Mexican restaurant here. Um, it's called Mucho Burrito. It's nothing like Mexican food, but it's like you know Mexican food in Canada. <laughs> um, but they have like all the Mexican sodas there too. Um, we don't have it stinks. We don't have all like any good Mexican restaurants here. We have one. And it's, like, this older lady and her daughter. But I tried the stuff because I, after eating in California, um, the, like, nothing can compare to it. It was good for, like, Canadian, Mexican, even though, you know, it was supposed to be authentic. But it just wasn't the best. In New York, there is? Oh, Oh, yeah, Chipotle. I love Chipotle, even though it's fake. I mean, how can, well, you know. Um, I went to the George Lopez. Is it George Lopez? Yeah, George Lopez um, restaurant at, what is that casino? I don't know why I'm thinking Rancho Cucamonga or whatever it's called, but that's not what it is. But it was so good. Um yeah, you need to try Chipotle. There's one here in uh, Oakville. 
and you can pre-order and just pick it up. It's so good. Also, you can order like extra cheese without having to pay more. Extra cheese, extra lettuce, like all that stuff. I want to try um, New York pizza because my sister was in New York and she didn't get it. Like, that's like a thing you need to do there. She went to a Broadway show, but she didn't get the pizza. That would have been like on my top list. <laughs> yeah, I need Ella to move over here. She needs to... Um, be my cook. <laughs> she makes all the good looking food. When I go there, I told her. I was like, she's like, well, where do you, where would you want to eat? At your house? <laughs> oh, you did have pizza at, at the airport? That doesn't count as New York pizza. Was it still good, though? Like, did it feel like New York pizza. <laughs> okay. I'll ship you a doggy bag. Well, if I ship it to you, you won't get it for a couple of months because of postal service. But yeah. Could you imagine? I just bring like a sack of like food and it's like all mixed around. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by, and I'll see you on Instagram. It wasn't special. I want to go to New York. Like, I wish I would have gone. Well, that would have been awkward if I went with you because then you got engaged there. But still, <laughs> I want to go to New York. And I also want to... It's in Philadelphia, right? Like, where they have the two Philadelphia stakes places that, like, fight off. They, like, one on each corner. And they, like, have a face-off for the best Philly cheese steak. Although they say they use cheese whiz, which is really gross. But, yeah. Yeah, Ella's food videos. Yeah. So yummy. I like, like, look at me. I'm doing a live. And I'm, <laughs> I, like, the first time I did my Instagram live, I was freaking out before. Like, I was messaging um, Alba, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Like, what do I say? What if I mess up when I'm talking? But it's like, I don't know. It's normal. Where? What, what's not a far drive? Philadelphia? Oh, New York. Yeah. But I think I would rather fly. It feels like more of a vacation when you're flying. It's like I drove from here all the way to Myrtle Beach. And I hate doing a long drive. Plus, then you would have your car in New York, which you don't want to do because of all the traffic. Holy, it's already 6 o'clock here. Okay, guys, um, I'm starving. I'm having steak tonight. I'll probably take a picture and I'll post it on my Instagram. Um, I have it pinned up there. So if you haven't followed me already, go check that out. And... I totally forgot to tell you what the video is going to be Wednesday. It might be. I haven't edited it yet, so it might be bad. But do you see it? My hair is a lot shorter now. <laughs> it's because my sister, Emily, cut my hair, and she's not a professional. <laughs> so I did a video on it. It might have not turned out the best. My mom was vacuuming while I was filming it, so I'm probably going to have to put music over it. And we'll see what happens with that yeah i want to do another makeup live i wish we could do it here on youtube um because i couldn't it's like the screen is so much bigger i can see all your comments especially without my glasses on but yeah
Let me see if I can see. I can kind of see without it on, just because I'm using my laptop. LOL, what? Yeah, yes, I am. <laughs> you are not a professional. Maybe if you practice on a, doll, a couple of dolls, then it will be okay. But we'll see. If I post a video Wednesday, it will be that one. Um, I also want her to try doing my makeup. So maybe that will be next Wednesday's video. Let me know if you want to see my sister do my makeup. She doesn't do makeup. Like, she she knows, like, what foundation and stuff is, but she doesn't, like, do it for herself. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I'm going to go eat some dinners. And I will see you all Wednesday. I will, if I am posting, I'll do a premiere live so we can talk in the chat. <laughs> Should I do my toodles? What is that? Did you just do a finger like this? Or did it? You can't tell. Oh, is it two fingers? It's like, it looks like one finger. But yeah, so let me cut this off. And I'll see you all Wednesday. Thank you all so much for watching today's live video. And I'll see you all Wednesday. Toodles! <laughs> okay, bye.